So to select the tools for macro, you need to first select all the tools, and then active the tool that you want the output from. As you can see I clicked that Marge node, cause I want this for output. If you not active any tool you, it won't gonna work. Now hit get tools. Now select the tool from the list that you want to add the input from. You can search for any input from here. As you can see I'm adding the styled text input. When you add any input that list will show you the inputs that you selected from that tool. By default all the inputs set to control page. Now let me show you how to work with the labels. So now I'm going to add all the colors and some other inputs from that background tool into a color label. So let's make a color label and just leave the number as it is. You can also create that label later I'm just showing you. Now select the input that you want to be nested from and hit the color label. Now start to add inputs and also count how many inputs you're going to add to that label. As you can see I added 24 inputs from that node, so now I'm going to insert 24 into the number box, and in the name section you should put the same name to update the count value, and then hit add label you can do this any point off time, but be sure to add the same name space also count. Now here you can name your macro and select the type either group and macro. As you can see a macro generated from the editor, and you can also see all the inputs are in the right place. Let's just delete this macro and see other features. Now we are going to see how to add external inputs like mask. Now select the tool from the list and search for the effect mask, and then add the input now if you hist paste you can see mask input has been added. If I now connect any mask to that input, you can see it's working perfectly. You can also remove inputs from the add list just by clicking it. And now if I hit paste you can see the mask input has gone. Now let's add a tab. Remember by default tab name set to controls, it means until you select any tab from the list all the inputs going to be added in the controls page. Now select the input and then hit the color tab. As you can see all the inputs after the type, gone to the color tab. The moment you select a tab from the tab list it start to add inputs to that tab, and if you again want to add inputs to the control page you need to create a controls page with no space and first latter must be capital later, and then select the control page again, and from then it will start to add inputs to the controls page. We can also change the name of the input. So we are going to change the name from size to name, so search for the input, and remember that we selected the color tab, so it'll be on the color tab, and we are modifying this input so the input tab will be set to color, so if you don't want it you can add a controls page, and select it, so it's just changed the page to controls. Now select he size and type any name to the search bar, and then hit set. Can see it's no longer in the controls page, it's in the color page, and the name has been changed.